All right, as you can see, we've got a new limited time offer in the item shop. So for whatever reason, I'm getting this about five hours later than everyone else in the world. People were getting it at about eight o'clock this morning and it's currently 2.30 p.m. for me and it just showed up. So this is called the Bassassin Challenge Pack. How bizarre. It says, as a Bassassin, it pays to be cold-blooded. Get the Contract Giller outfit, Dorsal Destroyer back bling, and complete daily assignments to earn up to one thousand v bucks so as you can see you get the contract giller outfit and he's got a selectable styles with no glasses and glasses so nothing too special there it's basically just fish stick in an agent suit with or without glasses however it's the back bling that i'm most interested in look at this cutie batootie the dorsal destroyer he's got your deep six this is one of the coolest Back blings I have ever seen. I want to slap this sucker on the Black Knight. Look at his little fin feet. I love this. And his little eyes move back and forth. He need a boy. You been doing with those guys? He a boy. He's got two machine guns. They look like machine pistols. This is the coolest back bling I have ever seen. And then, of course, you get the challenges. So I would like to see those. So I'm going to purchase this. I'm going to show you some in-game footage. And we're going to see whether or not it's worth nine dollars and 99 cents so obviously you have to spend real money on this v bucks are no good in this limited time offer so you have to spend basically ten dollars did i say ten dollars because here in indiana they charge 70 cents for tax are you kidding me that makes it almost eleven dollars ten dollars and 69 cents what a load of mickey mouse bull squash but i purchased it let's check out this assassin pack there you go that is the items acquired screen same thing as we just saw wow Meowsles looks pretty sweet with the baby on his back. I'm more interested in these challenges. Like, do you have to do something special? Are they just daily challenges? Let's take a peek. So we are going to go to our challenge table and we'll see what we got. Here they are. Contract Giller. Complete daily assignments. So that's all they are. Come on. I thought they'd be something special. So I don't even know if I have any daily assignments. I do not. Shoot. So that is the drawback to these challenge packs that use the daily assignments. You only get one a day, so basically you have to wait quite a while to claim all your V-Bucks. So it looks like there's seven challenges total, which means if you don't have any daily challenges like me, you have to wait seven full days before you get your full 1,000 V-Bucks. All right, let's check out the skin. So again, this is the Contract Giller. I'm going to wear the sunglasses first just to see what those look like. Here is the cute baby back bling. He goes pretty good with this one. How's he attached on there? What is that? He's floating in midair. He's got some Velcro on the back of his astronaut helmet there. I guess that would be scuba gear, not astronaut. Whoops. Now how about a pickaxe? He's part of the Bassassin set. And as far as I know, there's no pickaxe or glider available for that yet. However, maybe in the item shop tonight or tomorrow or relatively soon, we'll get something. I'm not sure if I have any fish pickaxes. Let's see. So I have all the fish stick skins. No, I don't have a single fish stick pickaxe. Someone let me know in the comments, is there a pickaxe for any of the fish characters? I don't think there are. Now, I think there is a glider. I think the reactive glider is part of one of the sets. Yes. So this is the Coral Cruiser. So at least that would go with him, but I don't really have a pickaxe at the moment. Can I just say something? What, Jackie? The back thing is very funny. So Jack just walked in. You like that, Jack? Yeah. Look at his little feet. Is it giftable? It is not giftable. Whoa. <laughs> and it doesn't look like I have a camo either. Nothing pops up when I type in fish. Well, son of a gun. Well, he's all black anyway, so maybe the stealth black or the boogeyman one. Where's the boogeyman? There's the boogeyman. That'll probably work. All right, so we're going to try that. I just want to see what he looks like in-game. See how cool this back bling is. All right, I just jumped out right away. This is what he looks like with the Coral Cruiser. One of my favorite gliders in the game because it sings, as you can hear. I'll let you enjoy this a minute. All right, so you can see my little baby flip-flopping there. I just love that back plane. I mean, this is one of the goofiest skin combos I've ever seen. A fish agent with a baby strapped to his back. I wonder if the baby does anything when you get kills. We're going to have to get a kill. Now, I'm uploading a video right now, and as you can see, I've got the red X of death. 
because my internet is absolute trash, especially when I'm uploading a video. Look at how much lag I'm getting here. All right, so there is a good glimpse of the back bling. I wonder if when you dance or anything, it does anything fun. Let's see. What kind of dance could we do? Let's jump around with him. Hopefully, don't give him the shaken baby syndrome. He doesn't seem to be reacting at all. You know how some of the pets kind of growl and stuff like that? That's what I was hoping he would do. How about a sleigh ride? <laughs> look at how cute he looks. That is hilarious. This back, look at his little feet kick. All right, how about this? All right, so apparently he just is not reactive when it comes to emotes. So we will try to get a kill, see if that does anything. Squid pickaxe definitely does not go with this. I should have used like the John Wick sledgehammer or something like that. See if I can lag kill him now. Nice. All right, so it looks like the baby did not react at all to that. And you always get this weird side angle, too, which is frustrating. Because he's always, not always, but he's somewhat tilted to the side a lot. There's not much else to say about him. I mean, he's basically just a fish man with a fish baby on his back with two guns. As I mentioned, I was hoping the back bling would do something. Be reactive in some way. Not necessarily reactive, but like the pets. I wanted it to make noises at people or react when you got a kill or when you drink shields or something like that. But unfortunately, his feet just flop around. His guns don't really move. He doesn't, well, I guess when you sway back and forth, his arms move. And his eyes just look about. And they seem to have no rhyme or reason to where they're looking. They just look all over the place. But that is basically what you get. You can kind of see his glasses from this perspective. So I think I actually prefer this style better without the sunglasses. It just looks more, I don't know. I know the sunglasses are supposed to be all agent-like and stuff, but I just like his bald orange head. Orange is my favorite color, by the way, so it just looks more appropriate to me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, which one do you like better? Sunglasses or no sunglasses? Obviously from the front, the sunglasses are probably better, but again, we only see from the backside, so. There's really not much to say about this skin. It's just a fish in a suit with a baby on his back. So that's basically all there is to it for this skin. Pretty bland. It's basically John Wick's body with a fish inside. How about that? That's what it looks like to me. Speaking of which, I never showed my Black Knight with the fish on the back. Look at that. That might be my new skin combo. How awesome is that? A Black Knight with a fish baby. I like it a lot. His face actually looks smushed up against the glass. It's a bit silly. The whole thing is silly. I still like it though. All right, so now we have to answer the question, is this worth $9.99? You can see that's exactly what you get right there. The baby, the glasses, and the no glasses, plus the challenges. I would have to say, based on the skins alone, I don't know. I mean, if you don't have any of the fish skins, I would say go ahead and get it. Because you do get a little bit of bang for your buck. You get two styles, plus a unique back bling but if we're looking at a money sense nine dollars and 99 cents is totally worth it because as per usual if you go to the v-bucks screen here that's what you would pay for just a thousand v-bucks by itself so basically you're paying for a thousand v-bucks plus you get a free skin thrown in as well so if you look at it that way it's totally worth it if you were gonna buy a thousand v-bucks anyway you may as well buy this bundle because then you get all this free stuff quote free stuff but the only drawback is you have to earn it and it will take at least seven days unless you have some daily challenges saved up now my son would say to buy this just for the back bling and i would kind of agree because it's totally unique i'm just disappointed they could have did more with it they could have made it like a pet as i mentioned earlier it should react to some things that are going on around it i don't necessarily mean the skin should be reactive but the pets aren't reactive and they bark at people, they growl at people, they do different things when people are nearby. But the fact that this baby back bling doesn't do that is just super, super disappointing. It looks fun, it looks unique. It's a baby in a scuba set gear for crying out loud. Plus he's got two guns. It doesn't get much cooler than that. So I would say overall, yes, this is probably worth $10 in my opinion. But if you could care less about the cuteness of the baby and you already have all the fish skins in the game so far and you don't need a thousand V-Bucks, then no, 
I would pass on this. So it all just depends on if you need those thousand V bucks and you can wait seven days to get them. So that's all there is to it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor time.